Hi and hello um, I hope you are doing well guys Welcome back to my YouTube channel It's Marta Lapkowska here As you can guess we will do something that you asked me for A journal page Yes we will do some journal page today uh, The color scheme again it's easy to guess for you It's all about winter So it's not really Christmassy but winter wonderland I think Something um, snowy, something shiny, uh, a little texture, that's that's what in my head. And I will use this little, little notebook um, that I got ages ago. Uh, I like that it's clean for a change because I usually work with the old books, as you know. I like the fact that this one is quite clean. And I only did one page quite a long time ago with my uh, my own stamps. Uh, some of you may know, may remember, I had opportunity to design few uh, stamps for the scrapbook diaries. If any of you wish to see them, link I, I can put link down below uh, the video. Um, so yes, today we will do something in this little book. Grab your tools, guys. Gra grab your materials, your sprays, your uh, bits and pieces. Sit down with me or stand up with me because I create when I stand. And please try to make something with me. Enjoy this. And uh, rather than only watching it, um, try to make something and just challenge yourself. If it's not something uh, that you used to do in it, then it's even better. Get out of your comfort zone and try to try to um, challenge yourself and enjoy it. So um, I hope you will like it. Mm -mm. I'm really inspired today. I'm really extremely for some reason. <laughs> Finally, after uh, not feeling great for two days, I feel inspired, happy, uh, and it's midnight actually. Um, yes, but I, I'm completely ready to do it. So, um, sit, sit, uh, seat belts, yeah? Fasten your seat belts and let's go. Let's, let's roll on. Mm, I will put, uh, put aside different materials. Um, we have some art stones for creating a texture, snowflake paste. Uh, we have some color paste, some um, acrylic paints. We have some mica powder and a spray made from it. We have some glitter, we have some glass glitter, we have some Lindy sprays of course. And we have some white gesso. And yes, let's start. And we have a cappuccino with marshm <laughs> marshmallows. Um, that's that's my treat for today. And I have a cheesecloth as well. Mm, I will start with gluing two pages together. That way, uh, I leave this one because this one is already glued. So those two, I put them together. That way, my pages are gonna be thicker. So it's just uh, better for when you, we want to add different mediums and, and your page will just not gonna roll or anything like that. And my next step is to basically add some gesso to build and prepare my page for, um, for media work. I'm using heavy, heavy gesso from, from Prima. I always use this and I'm very much happy um, with it. It's very thick, it's very good consistency, it's great quality, it's, it's a good buy for sure if you wish to do any art journaling or mixed media. So my pages are quite wet now, so I have here um, a cheesecloth. That's what I will do. I hope to glue down some cheesecloth and create some movement and some sort of nice texture here. That's exactly my <laughs> my plan. Now that's it. I think I won't need that bit. That's just an ordinary cheesecloth from Chemist. You can get it everywhere, I believe so, in just a chemist. And that's it, you don't need anything fancy. This cheesecloth will just help to build 
an interest and a texture to to my page basically so that's the that's the idea here now this is nearly attached and I think I wish to add a little bit of snow so my um, art stones should work just perfect now I hope you can see it with no problems I'm adding a bit of gesso and just and just a little bit of art stones so I hope this will give us kind of a snowy looking effect now that looks good to me that looks definitely good good to me a yummy looking texture ah yeah now I'm gonna t clean my clean my spatula first and I will dry this a little bit and my page is nearly dry it's nearly dry and I was thinking to add a little bit of snowflake paste and the bigger art stones with it I'll see and um, this the snowflake paste has a texture like it has a texture basically and it's like a corsage it's like it's textured it's as, as it looks as if it has a sand in it already which is fabulous which is fabulous and it's uh, a bit of shine in it so it's a great uh, little medium especially in, if you wish to create any sort of um, winter winterish look or you know then it's for sure something nice to add to your stash I'm really not thinking where I'm putting it I'm I'm having fun tonight guys you know I haven't feeling good for the past two days and today I felt finally good finally I felt myself and I tidy up the whole craft room it was so messy it was in such a bad state that I literally could not find my things for a Christmas project and I was like no this is wrong this is all wrong something has to be changed so I was trying to tidy up a little bit and and yes that's where the that's where the um, my time went away you know on cleaning really on uh, on just changing my craft room a little bit because it just it went it got to the point where I was just so frustrated walking in rather than enjoying I was just pissed off sorry for is that bad word pissed off I was just annoyed that I can't find this I, I can't find that it takes me ages to tidy up because of this because of that and I was thinking no it has something has to be changed because this is my working space this is my my space that I should enjoy and love and having such a mess like leaving this to the point to be in such a mess it just it just I just had to do something about it and today I felt like yeah I will tidy up I will clean and I will try to make it work and it was oh my gosh such a relief such a um, what's the word uh, not relief even um, like like uh, I felt so <laughs> I don't know ah just it just felt so amazing so good so so fantastic that it was just tidy I couldn't walk without uh, without k 
kicking anything on the floor without worrying that I will break my leg or I will or someone else what's worse break a leg so you know if you in the same situation as me just guys just tidy up just you know just 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 do it just just tidy up and I knew I promised you the the video earlier but when you are in such a mood you just I just didn't want the video to be um, affected by how I f was feeling you know and I said no something has to be done and I feel it's the right time <laughs> today so my sweet friends I'm building my texture here let's go back to the project I'm building my texture here and it's all yummy and textured and it's just so nice so I'm gonna clean that and dry and uh, clean this and dry dry the whole piece and I will come back to you after our page is dry mm, my my page is nearly dry if you don't have um, a snowflake paste if you don't have a snowflake paste don't worry don't worry maybe you have a modeling paste you could add a texture powder to your modeling paste to make it thicker to make it textured to make it more interesting and definitely change it the consistency uh, if you don't have the texture powder that's okay as well you can mix it with mini art stones or just leave it as it is and instead of using here as I use the uh, snowflake paste you can just use modeling paste you can add a little glitter to it so it will have the little touches of, of shine um, you know just because you don't have the exact product it doesn't mean you cannot move on with the process and do it just replace things just exchange it just swap for different for whatever you you have um, yes mm, my next step is to incorporate one of those gorgeous images to my to my journal page and those are scrap berries papers I don't think I ever showed you them uh, the second I saw them I absolutely fall in love in this winter uh, team papers those are absolutely gorgeous gorgeous once upon a winter from scrap berries I will definitely use one of those uh, one of those images prob probably this one absolutely stunning 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 I was just uh, lucky to get them uh, when I was in the UK teaching I I was passing um, I was passing Scotland and well I was we were kind of going uh, we were going we were taking a ferry from Scotland and we got a beautiful invitation from um, from Helen and her husband to visit them and to visit their shop if we if we find time mm, so that's uh, that's what we did we went to see Helen and Sandy uh, on the way when we were going back to Ireland and I have to say it was really <laughs> one of the nicest uh, meetings ever I absolutely adore this wonderful couple and if you are from UK near Scotland basically you have to visit them they are situated in Dumfries uh, they have a little well not that little actually a very cozy beautiful shop where Helen is running her workshop her classes with different teams different levels you do have to check it out very good prices I think 10 or or something uh, tenor for for class so definitely check them out I'll give you a link below and she also of course has a shop there and I bought plenty goodies oh my and the those papers were were one of those uh, one of those that I got I just couldn't resist I could I could straight away see that I will most definitely use some of those images and I absolutely love it Helen does not have an online store unfortunately she has the ordinary you know uh, mortal shop but I'll give you a link to her Facebook page if you are from UK or from Scotland and you wish to get in touch with her you wish to see her Facebook page and see what she has you definitely check uh, below the video I will give you links below uh, I'll show you maybe here quickly her shop it 
that's how it looks and it's called Handmade at Helen's uh, so yes you definitely have to mm, there's no zoom in you have to check it out I'll give you a link below give her a like she will she will definitely appreciate that she only opened uh, her business what six weeks ago uh, so I'm I'm crossing my fingers it's a very small uh, family run business family run company I absolutely love supporting and helping and giving a shout out shout outs shout outs you could say it to you know a small businesses and helping them out so if by by saying a few words to you uh, some of you may find it interesting then oh I'm delighted so yes uh, going back to our journal page my little girl is there and I think she absolutely matches the whole idea of winter of course she's in the winter clothes with those ear morphies and I absolutely adore this we need some color I feel guys we need some color and that's when all our gorgeous um, <clears throat> Lindy's sprays will come so let me put our girly aside for now and I'll just check the colors Mm, now we will do some coloring. I will take this colorful towel because I I just want to I don't want to clean my table. I already did it and I cleaned it a lot today so I want I want to make sure that I'll use the towel instead today. And I'm just putting those on the side here. Oh you can see I'm gonna move it. There you go. <laughs> and I have I have made <clears throat> I have made a spray just I got a just normal bottle uh, from Mica powder from Finn's Prima and it's very nice have a look how delicate oops can you see how delicate that is it depends how much pigment you add this is a very nice shiny uh, mica that you can make sprays you can mix it with powder or with uh, with 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 modeling paste and make uh, your own custom made paste so it's up to yourself um, I start with adding a little bit of my most favorite white it's the Jack Frost it's the frozen Jack Frost guys and I will just add the white everywhere just to make it nice and dry it uh, I think I will be not really typical to me, but I will start off with the very low part and I hope to work forward. Will that move? Let me see. Not really, not that much. Mm, what about... Yeah. So this one is Merci beaucoup mint. Merci, <laughs> merci beaucoup, beaucoup, beaucoup mint. Merci mint. That's the turquoise, the teal, a lovely teal that we have here. And now I will add a little bit of Tiffany Low Blue. Tiffany Low Blue. Tiffany Low Blue. No. Just a touches. There we go. And I will spray some water so this will move nicely. Okay, that's how it is now. I will add now the darker one, which is um, tainted love teal. Tainted love teal. Basically, guys, I wish you to also experiment with color. Just because I use this, it doesn't mean you have to use this. You know what you mean. You know what I mean. Just try to add your own colors and play what, with what you have at home, and just combine few colors that will be, in this case, winter related, a little bit, and just don't be afraid. Just you know, just play around and use the stash that you have please I encourage you a lot to use what you have uh, rather than uh, 
straight away running after to the shop after, unless you don't have any sprays then absolutely go for it but try to use what you have unless you really like I can't resist Lindy that's that's true you know me like I cannot live without Lindy this is like Lindy and me it's like we are perfect <laughs> we match in heaven <laughs> uh, no I'm joking but honestly I I just love Lindy's so now as you can see I'm just concentrating on creating some color movement here and there let's see if our little dolly will match nicely ah she will she will I feel that it would be nice to add the accent of this red so I'm gonna try to find it in a second uh, in order to to have that cutie match the rest of the page I think it will be nice then well it's already nice but it would be just ideal maybe uh, in my eyes of course in my eyes so yes that's what we have right now guys that's what it is I'm gonna dry this and look for the reddish color I found something and it's more orangey uh, well it's uh, it's called Poinciana red flame and I feel it will match this sure what can I say? Let's try. <laughs> Let's hope that this will actually go nicely with the rest of the color and that it will just nice those little tiny touches that our girl is not gonna be lonely. Well, her birds really are gonna be, you know, there. So you can see now just a little touches and what a difference this can be this can make now let's see the the dolly here mm -hmm. I love it she's very delicate and pastel and my page is very out loud here but sure that's how it is okay I think less is more let's stop it because I feel I'm gonna go over it too much and then I will regret it I'm just gonna I'm just gonna come back a tiny bit with my dark just a tiny bit just a little mm -hmm. oh you can definitely hear that our... I'm not sure, did I tell you we have a new guinea pig? Did I tell you that? Because you know that Susie is gone, right? She unfortunately is gone. And Emily decided she's ready to love a new pet. And we have Henio. <laughs> he is a boy and he is just hilarious. I promise to show you him in the video one day. He's so different. Such a different character. Like... Can you believe it that, like, really, I, I sense it now that, like, the, the animals can be so different to each other, like, like, completely different, which is awesome. Now, we have it. I'm going to dry that. Mm, in order to see how the texture looks like, how pretty it is and dimensional, I will add some gesso on top of my spread. And of course some bits and pieces are falling because they may not be perfectly glued but that's okay don't worry so I'm just gently uh, adding some gesso on top so to be able to see my texture better like those stones here and uh, the bigger stones and the smaller stones when uh, touches of gesso are still wet I will add Art sugar. This is um, very fine glitter, and I will just add really, really, really small touches of of that. I think I will just go for with my. This is super fine, super delicate 
glitter. It, that's why it's called Art Sugar because it's glitter is more defi the definite. This one is like a powder. This one is like a, you nearly can't can't feel it. Can't. It's so delicate. Now I wonder if you can see the. Can you see what I see? Can you see? No. I don't see it myself. And the camera, I hope you actually... Oh, I think I see the blink. So basically it's blinking, but very gently. Like the, you know, like the snow itself in the winter time. Uh, so we are nearly there, guys. And I absolutely adore what I see right now. Oops, and my little dolly she will be somewhere here hidden and i was thinking to add scrapinets uh, because those are super cute chipboards that could be really nice addition to that to that spread and those are very delicate chipboards oh isn't that cute I think it is. I really do. Um, again, chipboards from from Scrapinets. Scrapinets. You can find them all over the world. The world now. Really look for your local stores. Uh, if you don't have, uh, if your local store doesn't have it, I'll give you link below the video uh, for the Scrapinets shop because you can buy directly from them, guys. So, and the choice is massive nearly too big you know nearly too big actually I had a comment recently on the craft knife um, let me look for my craft knife before I break my before I break the chipboard mm, now guys be very careful with your craft knife uh, there was a recently a lady that left a comment under my last video saying to be careful because the very the top chipped and thankfully she had glasses and nothing happened but it went to it would go to her eye so please be very careful with your craft knife okay just in case um so yes we have our gorgeous snowflake you think i love it oh my god i adore it so very much I think I think this this could look absolutely cute as well let's see maybe the bigger one no 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 I think the smaller one so please watch out when you're using your craft knife okay okay now Okay, <laughs> I think this is so sweet and so pretty. I absolutely, absolutely adore every centimeter of that spread. And I don't think I enjoyed a page so much like this one. I know I'm probably not very much chatty today, but I was just enjoying the process so much, you know, because uh, as I said, the last two days weren't the best for me. And I'm glad I could be back today and just enjoy creating. Yes, and I absolutely love, love, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I really, truly love what I see. So, yes, I, I feel I can be happy. I'm adding the 3D foam thing. I wish this to be, um, I wish this to be sticked nicely to my page um, it's not it doesn't have to be precise I just f feel that I wish this to be kind of ish precise kind, kind of ish oh my god I'm the worst ever anyway I'm gonna use my glue gun to it and I don't mind if a little bit of glue is visible I don't mind because it's winter and it's like a part of that oh yeah 
that's so pretty you know and those chippies are adding those gorgeous cute finishing touches to our beautiful page I love everything about it I love the I love the what you call it the texture I love the theme I love the colors I love absolutely every centimeter of that and I'm sorry it's my page I should be more um, you know I shouldn't be the so much in love with myself well I'm not in love with myself I'm in absolute love with the spread and that is thankful to you know every um, step along the way was important and this image is as well so cute uh, thank you Helen Helen <laughs> I'm so happy I could visit your shop have a gorgeous chit chat with you and your husband Sandy love them and buy some goodies you can't go wrong there isn't it so yes oh my god I love it oh no hello hello <laughs> isn't it this so cute come on you have to have an opinion I absolutely love it uh, yeah Winter Wonderland. Let me look for some quick title. Maybe we will be able to find some some title there because ah, sorry it took me so long uh, because we have few bits and pieces here and what would joy to the world, warmest wishes, special gift, snowflakes, <laughs> winter winter snowflakes let me see mm -hmm. I kind of I kind of cannot make up my mind and I'm cutting those little words and I think I may have just find something I like holidays and I like snowflakes so maybe holidays snowflakes does it make sense I'm not too sure I'm not too sure holidays maybe just holidays yeah just holidays that will be good I found another one happy holidays maybe that would be nice I like that or holidays no holidays actually <laughs> because it's shorter because I I wish to make sure that rather than the whole attention goes to the title I wish that the attention goes to uh, to the page, to this girl, to the whole look of it rather than a big happy holidays although I like it but maybe not in this particular moment so I am adding those tiny 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 squares 3D, 3D squares so to add the title and I will also finish off with a tiny touch of glue hot glue so that will stick nicely to my page which is here now and what do you think guys what do you think friends because I I like it so much uh, I wish to be able to draw a girl like this myself maybe I should challenge myself so here it is your textured holiday winter wonderland Christmassy uh, spread I hope you liked it I hope you enjoyed it and as I said as I thought it's not very complicated I believe you can do it uh, and if you did create with me please be sure to share it with me hashtag me hashtag me Maremi small art um, when you add your project to your Facebook page or Instagram that way I can see it and I really wish you to to create something with me you know you can just skip this and find a different image I'm sure you have plenty 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 papers pretty papers pretty embellishments paper bits and pieces and you can find some winter theme you don't have to necessarily have exactly what I do have here you can also uh, use punches instead of uh, chipboard so again I'm trying to give you an ideas so uh, yes this is quite 
uh, quite textury. This is interesting and simple at the same time. And I like the form that is actually small, you know. Um, so yes, um, my my dear friends, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you created with me, and I hope you can forgive me that the video is later than I promised. Um, I uh, yes. I wish to thank you, yes, quickly here, because I got so many comments recently on uh, my YouTube, not only YouTube, but Facebook and everywhere, and I'm not always able to say thank you. Uh, if you ask me about things, I try to reply, uh, but it's, the amount is so huge, same for private messages, it's huge, so please be patient and give me a chance to <laughs> reply. Thank you so much for every single word of encouragement and for your ideas for my next videos, for your support, for your time, for your patience to me, for your friendship. Uh, because if not uh, you, you there, um, I, what's the point of making those videos if, if you wouldn't be, nobody would listen? Oh yes, I enjoy it and I love it, I do it for myself, but yet I do it for you, sweetheart. And yes, um, enough <laughs> of chatty chats. I am gonna go and upload it maybe now. Uh, yes, probably it's not my last winter project because, or spread in general, because I, ooh, I loved it so much. Uh, so yes, this was a joy to make it. Till, till the next time, guys. Thank you so much. Hugs and kisses. Forgot to say, uh, if you liked it, please do share this video on your social media, on your Facebook and other places so others can see it and enjoy it as well. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.